So far, I have been using ultrasonic sensor for the distance measurement and used this sensor in so many amazing projects, including the ultrasonic sensor based water level monitoring system. Social distancing project against the COVID 19 coronavirus in an automatic car deceleration system to maintain the safe distance and in so many other cool projects. In today's episode, we will use the TOF10120 laser range sensor module for measuring the distance. So before I'm going to explain anything, first a few words about the sponsor for sending these beautiful and high quality PCBs. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Feel free to visit their website PCBWay.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and thus order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. The sign up process hardly takes one minute and you are welcomed with a $5 welcome bonus. As usual, before I am going to use this sensor in some intermediate and advanced level projects, First, I will cover the extreme basics to help you get started with this small, tiny, beautiful piece of hardware. I performed a series of experiments and displayed the values on the serial monitor and once satisfied, I further modified the code and displayed the measured distance in millimeters and inches on the OLED display module. Unlike the ultrasonic sensor, this laser sensor module can also be used for monitoring the water level. It can be used in security systems, obstacle avoidance robots and so on. Anyhow, I continued with the experiments, modified the code one more time and this time I was able to control a 110 or 220 volt AC light bulb. Make sure you wear the protective gloves as 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. You can replace this bulb with a water pump or any other electrical device that you want to control. The bulb is turned on when the distance is less than 5 inches and remains on until the distance is greater than 10 inches. While performing the experiments when the laser sensor was facing the camera, I could see this light coming out of the sensor which you can't see with naked eyes. If you have this sensor, go ahead and check. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, TOF10120 laser range sensor module pinout and technical specifications. Number two, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number three, Arduino programming. And finally, number four, testing. Without any further delay, Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the TOF10120 laser range sensor. The TOF stands for time of flight. As per the data sheet, the recommended ranging range of this sensor is between 100 and 1800 millimeters. The TOF10120 laser range sensor module can be easily powered up using 3 to 5 volts. Due to this wide range of input voltages, this time of light ranging sensor can be easily used with 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino, ESP8266 and ESP32 etc. The current consumption of this laser distance sensor is 35 milliamps. The ideal temperature range of this sensor is from minus 20 to plus 70 centigrade. Due to this wide temperature range, this module can be used in extreme indoor and outdoor weather conditions. The six wires nicely plugs in. The black wire is the ground wire. The red wire is the voltage wire. The yellow wire is the RXD and the white wire is the DXD. The blue wire is the SDA and 
the greenish wire is the SCL. This module can communicate with the controller using the I2C communication bus and can also communicate serially using the RXD and TXD wires. So out of these six wires, I'll use only four wires, the ground wire, red wire, blue wire, and this green wire. So I will use I2C communication. As per the data sheet, the I2C address of this module is 0xA4. But I2C addressing uses the high 7 bits, so it's 0x52, which is equivalent to 82. You can also find the I2C address of the TOF10120 by using the I2C scanner code, which you can download from the article available on electronicclinic.com. This is the 128 by 64 I2C supported SSD 1306 OLED display module. It has a total of four male headers, clearly labeled as ground, VCC, SCL, and SDA. This OLED display module can be easily powered up using 3.325 volts. As both the modules supports I2C communication, so using only two pins A4 and A5 of the Arduino, which are the SDA and SCL, we can communicate with both the modules. This way we can save the I.O. pins and we can also reduce the wiring. The regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 linear voltage regulator is used to power up all the electronics. The SCL and SDA pins of both the modules are connected with the Arduino's A5 and A4 pins. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. While the power supply pins of both the modules are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. A 110 or 220 volt AC light bulb is connected with a relay, common and normally open contacts. This relay is controlled using the 2N2222 NPN transistor. This relay is turned on and turned off using the Arduino pin number 13. Next, I designed a PCB for the Arduino Nano, which I will use as the development board. I added female headers for the 3.3 volt, 12 volt, 5 volt and ground. This area can be used as the Vero board for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers on the left and right sides of the Arduino Nano for connecting the jumper wires. I also designed a one channel relay module. I double checked all the connections and finally generated the Gerber files. As usual, I used the PCBWay online Gerber Weaver for checking the generated Gerber files. I checked all the layers and once satisfied, I placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. These are the PCBs I received from the PCBWay company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the yellow and blue color solder mask looks amazing. Finally, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. This is how everything looks after soldering. These female headers are used for the 5 volt and ground connections. Over here I will connect the OLED display module and over here I will connect the TOF10120 laser range sensor.
This is how it looks after connecting the laser range sensor and the relay module. Finally, I connected the bulb holder with the relay module as for the circuit diagram already explained. And with this, my interfacing just completed. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This code is written by some unknown person. I modified this code by defining a pin for the relay module and also added some code for the OLED display module to display the measured distance. For the detailed explanation, read my article. I will provide a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.